Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series where we discuss SAP a web project. So today we have uh, something called PDF upload and download using SAP a web. And there are a few prerequisite that is uh, SAP table where we need to have a string field where we'll be uh, actually uploading the PDF file in X string format or raw format. And then we have something called a BAP standard function modules. So there are different modules to upload, download, convert a particular file to X string, convert back from X string to you know a PDF file. So those standard modules will be using it in this project. And then we have something called a BAP classical uh, report events. So those events are basic uh, requirements like before you start any ABAP report. So we believe that you know all these things in case you do not understand any of that. So we'll have something for you in the description where you can go and learn ABAP basics. Okay, so the very first task that you need to do is like visit this website called gocoding.org and visit these particular pages, PDF upload and PDF download. So both these links will be mentioned in the description. And suppose we start with program to upload a PDF file in a BAP. So we we'll just copy the code and go to SAP BAP editor and create a new program. So just uh, call it, uh, you know, Z upload demo. Fine. And upload a PDF file. And it will be executable program. Save it as a local object. Just paste the code, whether it's every, everything is already created, and save it out. So, among these uh, line of codes, everything is standard apart from this Z table. So, this table we have already created. I will show you the content of the table. So, we have two fields file name and file content. File name is a key here and it's of character 200. And uh, file content is a string so that you can save uh, the entire converted, you know, PDF file. Yeah. So apart from that, uh, if you go to go to and go to text elements, and yeah. So if you go to uh, this particular section, then you can mention what this parameter means. So choose the file to upload. Save it, activate it. Go back. Fine. So we'll run this program. So you have to choose the file to upload. We'll go back and check the table also. So we'll just open the table for you. Okay, that we don't have any data there. In case we have some data, we'll delete it out. So display it. So there's something already there. For that, what I will do, I will just uh, delete it first. So to delete a table, simply uh, write a program, write a piece of code, delete from table. Save and activate. Yeah, I try to run it. And it means no more data. So we don't have any data in the table now. Fine. So we'll just uh, delete this, this line of code. And again, uncomment the code that we have just commented. Fine. So I'll try to run the program, choose the file. So, so if you see, this is a folder called bank work and inside that folder, we have something called power of attorney and it's a file of 45 KB. So I'll try to upload this file. Remember my decision and allow the file upload. So as of now, the file is chosen and I run the program. The file is uploaded. If I go back to the table to check it out, the file is added. So the file name is actually the entire path. 
So it's the entire path from where I've chosen the file. So this is something that I have planned. Actually, you can change it to the custom file name, whatever you want. So it, I wanted to keep it uh, very simple. That's why I've done that. So if I go back and just check the program, what exactly it is. So we have a parameter and then we have a few data set here where we are actually getting table type. Then again, we have a few sets of uh, fields def uh, defined. And then on selection screen, we are calling this particular perform. So if I go, so it what it does, it opens up uh, the opportunity to open up, you know, the file dialog where you can actually upload a file. And once the file is selected, what we do, this function is called, we convert it into a string. The file that you have uploaded will be converted to string. And then if everything goes fine, we transfer the file name, whatever the path is, will be set as file name and the content that is converted as a string. So in this table, if you remember, we have two fields, file name and file content, both uh, fields will be selected and then it will be uploaded into the table like this. So that's it. That's the operations that we perform. So if I uh, again mention the steps, the first thing is that you create a parameter so that you can show what where exactly the operation has to be performed. A file is chosen by the user. For that, you have uh, written this file dialog code. And once the file is chosen, you convert that file into a string. For that also, you're calling a function module. And once you convert that into a string, you perform a select query or a SQL query to insert it out in the table. So yeah, that's it. So now we have a producer file, right? Now the next uh, path of our operation will be to download it back. So I'll call it Z download demo. Download a PDF file. Again, it is an executable program. I will save it out as a local object. I'll go back to the ABAP uh, website. I'll just copy the piece of code written here. Paste it again here. Save it. Activate the program. So we have two parameters. So for that, we will go to text elements, the selection text. This is the file name you want to download location where you want to download the file okay, with some limit and you can save it activate it go back and run the program so now you have to enter the file name you want to download and location where to download so the file name is visible in the table so i'll copy the file name this is the file name i want to download and the location so for me the location will be remain the same i will just change the name of the file i'll call it new.pdf and you just go to the directory to showcase that we don't have any new file here right so now i'll go back click on run allow some bytes are transferred new is uploaded it means new is downloaded actually from the server so if i open this up this is the file open this up this is the file same file okay so we'll go back and the program once again so in this particular uh, project we have a parameter we have some predefined set of data and again we have uh, something called a function that will be calling the download operation and uh, once the download is done then we convert the string back to binary or the file format and uh, yeah we download it out so ultimately if i uh, 
see the steps. The first step is you get the file name and file path. And based on a file name, you call the table to get the data. Fine, the content you fetch from the table. And once you got a content, you convert that content back into you know binary format or a file format that you are doing here. And once you got the file, once you get the file path where you plan to download the new file, you pass those things into this GUI download function. And based on the path and based on the content, it will just save the file to your local folder. So yeah, that's it. That's it for today. Thank you. Oh,